Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's teach Pakistan. In my last video, I had shown you how to connect WordPress using WAMP server. So I had told you in that video that most of uh, you guys will face this type of issue if you have already installed a server or my SQL workbench or something uh, that uses um, PHP. So when you reach on this index page of my PHP, my admin, you will uh, try to log in, but it will say that you do not have the right to log into this page. And uh, for that reason, you will see that your server, uh, local server is running only two out of three services. That means your WAMP server is not uh, in the green color it's in uh, the orange color so in this video i'm going to teach you three ways to fix this easily so without further ado let's get this video starting so first of all what I need to tell you that why does this happen well this happens because if you go into your control panel and into your programs and programs and features file you will see that uh, if you have already installed a uh, mysql server or some uh, some other server already they will be using uh, the ports uh, of mysql like i had already installed mysql workbench so which had occupied my uh, 3306 port which is used by my PHP my admin 2 for my SQL so due to this uh, the port is already occupied so uh, PHP my admin cannot connect to that port so the three ways to fix it are simple First of all, if uh, you think you haven't installed something like that, like um, you haven't installed PHP Madman, so all you need to do is just click over here and use the refresh option. Once you refresh this, uh, you will see again the three screens blank on your screen and afterwards uh, the logo will change from red to orange to green. But in my case, this won't happen because i know i have installed mysql workbench so i will see that it's still orange so what can i do next there are two ways one is that i can go into my control panel and just uh, delete my SQL workbench but I want to use my SQL workbench for some purpose so I cannot use that method but you can use that method if you are not going no longer going to use uh, my SQL workbench or other servers third method which is my favorite too and which I use mostly is uh, that uh, we start testing the ports that uh, WAMP server is using. So if I go into tools and I check, uh, I test uh, the port 80, I will see that it's working fine. Uh, see, it's it is correct. That means the port 80 is occupied by WAMP server. That is correct. And moving downwards, if I go and test port 3307, that will also be correct. You can see uh, it is also correct. So that means the issue here is only with uh, port 3306. Now it's saying that uh, uh, API ID 4148 is occupying that port which uh, WAM server should be occupying so that means there is the error so how can we solve this error it's easy we just press y and we just press enter and afterwards uh, the ports will be shifted now if i press enter you will see that my vamp server uh, okay it's not turning green i think so 
maybe I have not done of the task we go there at uh, test for double zero six again it's saying that uh, we should be having this port uh, but it's still not with us no issues uh, we were we are we're just going to go and end this process sometime uh, we have to forcefully end some processes uh, to check uh, yes it's not working no issues we are going to go into task manager and from the task manager we are going to go into the details here in the details panel we are going to search for that number that was uh, if i'm not wrong it was 4148 so we are just going to uh, end this task and after we end this task is going to ask uh, any program associated with this will be ended i will say okay end this task and once this task is ended we are going to refresh this page and we are going to go in here going to go in here and we're going to just go and test this post again now this time it's going to say that this associated port does not found so I will just say Y and enter and this time it's still not change let me see what kind of error this tested by command nested filter or double three zero six mostly it's fixed by now but I think so something is messing around let's see if we press go no oh this error working I'm just going to exit and just go down and I'm going to run my uh, my exam server again and let me see this time it's red and orange and after orange as you go this is now green so sometimes it does do some issues but uh, mostly doing this will fix your uh, issues and afterwards if i click go it's going to go into my there you go my php admin has been open there i, I have the shop database and in this shop database you will see all these are my wp folders if i click here i'm going to say localhost vamp server login and from here you will see there is another way to fix it if uh, after many tries you are unable to uh, log in the fourth method which i which I don't mostly use because it kind of messes with my WordPress settings. I have to go and change those settings too. That is, uh, first I need to just log in here and test if my WordPress is working. That is that uh, the port which is not working, that means uh, this port, if it's not working, I can use other ports. I can use 3308 port so that is mostly not occupied by any other process so you can change that port but remember if we, ch if we change this port to some other port we need to tell wordpress that our database port has been changed so we have to go into wp config and we have to change some values there so you can see that my website uh, is on the run again so here you go uh, this is how you fix uh, your uh, vamp server issues uh, if you have uh, any issues any doubts still let me know in the comment below and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day